The next tool I want to show you is similar to the Pathfinder tool. Um, in fact, a lot of times it's it's more useful depending on what you want to do. This can be a quicker way to do it, and it is called the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just draw two circles here so we have an example of what the Shape Builder tool does. Now, let's go ahead and make this circle blue and make this circle red. Now, to use the Shape Tool Builder tool, just like the Pathfinder tool, I need to select anything that I want to be applying it to. And now I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool, which is right over here. It's under, uh, mine wasn't selected, usually it's on the top. Mine was on the live paint bucket, but usually it's the one on the top. If you see your paint bucket, just click and hold it. But it's right here. It looks like two circles overlapping with a little arrow at the top. The keyboard shortcut is Shift M. Now, when I come out here, you'll notice when I put my mouse on things, they turn into sort of a grid-like pattern. That's just showing what I'm working on at that moment. If I click and drag across multiple things and then let go, they combine to become one complex shape. Conversely, if I hold down Option and click on something and drag it, it gets rid of anything that I've got with that checkerboard on it. it cuts it out of the effect, and there I've got sort of this crescent here. So combining those two can make a huge difference. Uh, another thing it does, if I go ahead and just draw some lines here, let's go ahead and give them a stroke so we can see them. Whoops. Okay. I can also use the Shape Builder tools to delete lines at the intersect. So I've got these all selected here, and I've got my Shape Builder tool, and if I press Option, you'll see that this line turns red all the way up to where it intersects the other line. And if I click, it will get rid of that particular part of the line. So it's a good way to clean up lines that are overlapping or intersecting that you don't want there. So let me show you a quick example of using this in a more complex shape. This is actually an example that Adobe has on their website that's a, a, a good sort of a test of this to show how it works. And it's creating a watering can. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to use a rounded rectangle tool and just draw a rounded rectangle. Now I want to have no fill on these so I can see pretty well what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle there and a rectangle there. And I'm going to go to my line segment tool and just draw a couple of necks, you know, lines up for the spout. Go back to my ellipse tool and I'm going to make a little oval for the head and I'm just going to rotate that a little bit. Go back to my line segment tool and I'm going to want this head sort of cut off to be flat like so. Then I'm going to go back to my ellipse tool and I'm just going to make a couple of circles for the handles. Nice big ones here. And I'm going to copy that circle and go to edit and paste it in front of the other one got some special paste commands there and edit and I'm gonna make that a little smaller so I've got two of them and as you can see just by very quickly using these rough tools I've been able to make a very rough watering can now now it's time to make it not so rough let's actually move that to the left a bit so now I'm gonna select the whole thing and I'm gonna to go to my shape builder tool and I'm going to go ahead and start deleting things I don't want and combining things I do. So I'm going to start by holding Option and delete these lines sticking out of the top of the head there. And that one there. And I actually don't want that head at all, so I'm going to drag across it and chop it like that. I don't want this line or that one. I want the neck connected to the body, so I'm just going to drag down like that. Hold down Option and get rid of these lines going into the body. I'm going to drag, I'm not holding option anymore, actually I'm going to hold option and drag across that rectangle and let go to get rid of that. I don't want the center of the circle and I don't want this rectangle, so I'm going to hold down option and drag through all that, let go. Not holding option, I'm going to drag across this to combine all that, combine all that, 
combine the body to the spout and combine the top to the spout. And you can see that we've very, very quickly gone from an extremely rough watering can to a much more cleaned up icon of a watering can. So practice with the Shape Builder tool. It's an extremely powerful tool, and I think you'll be very happy with the results you get with it.